What's up, everybody? It's your boy Egypt Got Anubis here, and we are here to watch Five Nights at Freddy the Animated Movie. I just heard about it. I wanted to watch it. If you don't know about Five Nights at Freddy, you've been living under a rock because everybody been playing that game, heard about it. If you hadn't heard about it or seen it, go check out some videos on YouTube and stuff like that. This is an animated situation that they have on, on, on this uh, video right here. It's animated. Uh, the group that made it, they made another one. And we probably going to hop into that one if this one is good and everything like that. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. It looks like it's going to be good. Let's do this. Cut my stuff up. Hey, if y'all got headphones, put your headphones on. Turn this mess up. The damn bird already starting. Look just like the game. Y'all starting already? Damn! This ought to be good. Damn, it ain't even start yet, and I'm already jumping. <laughs> Episode one, baby. Get y'all popcorn ready. Hi, I'm Jody Steele, and I've been challenged by Prince uh, nah, Jack nah, Leo to the side pod challenge. To start. Here we go. Let's go. saying too much because I'm trying to watch it, you know, just like y'all. This is horrible, huh? What is that noise? This place creeped me out even before it all went to shit. Have you seen the body? Yeah, I've never seen anything more terrifying in my life. I know, same here. By the way, did you know that it was Jonathan Schmidt's younger brother? Really? Damn. I ain't gonna lie, the video looked yeah, good. Guess. disappeared in this pizzeria and they never were found and now I 
can swear that they can hear some children voices coming behind these walls. Man, that is not fun. With him when we discovered his brother's body. Even I was shocked from what we witnessed. I still can't imagine what kind of sick mind was able to do it. Although Jonathan mentioned that his brother told him something about animatronics, that they were acting strange, but our specialists haven't found any malfunctions yet. Oops, my bad. Oops! What you mean? Oops! I can't believe it. But, but whoever is behind this murder, he won't be enjoying freedom for long. I know that Jonathan will find him, and I will do all that I can to help him with that. As will I. But for now, let's give him some time to recover. And to be honest, I think there is something wrong with this pizzeria. People say that they hear and see some crazy stuff there. Even I thought for a moment that I saw a kid on the cameras. Something tells me that this won't be an easy case. We will still solve it. No doubt in that. We live on 803 Dog Street. What are you doing? He working on it? Man, they ripped that man body all up. Brother Mike was discovered hey, at Freddy hey, boy, boy. Pizzeria. And still, we didn't manage to find the murderer. There were no signs of force entry, and our specialists didn't manage to find any malfunctions in animatronics. I'm telling you, detectives, one more time, there is no way these animatronics could move or even lift a finger. All power was deactivated a long time ago. Also, there is no way anyone could hide inside of them. Man, I'm being possessed, As man! For the only witnesses we had, Mr. Fritz Smith, who was the owner of a pizzeria and who was the first one to discover the body of my brother, he had a strong alibi on that night. I don't understand this. I've already told police everything. What else you want me to say? Mr. Fritz Smith. Tell us once again what really happened in your pizzeria with Mike Schmidt. Though I have to admit, there was something suspicious about him. And even though we were almost in the dead end with this case, I still wasn't planning to give up. And what is most important, I wasn't alone in this. There were people who were the same way as I, eager to find the truth. Among them were my partner, Detective Mark Davis and Detective Fiona Scott, with who we had some history. While almost forgetting about sleep and mostly living only on a coffee, me and my team were trying to get to the truth and as a result we were able to dig up something. Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria already had a dark past. In the 87, a bunch of kids went missing in it. There was also a private investigation with a goal to find them, but it ended up with a horrible death. And the crazy thing is, they heard kids and, and everything was it? missing, but they still left the place open. The more we used Kinda to learn, the more I realized that I draw myself and my people 
into the dangerous game, price in which is human life. Also, since I practically lived by this investigation, from time to time I start seeing things like the missing kids and those animatronics. Better to say, the horrifying versions of them, which my mind had created. Oh, snap! They were motionless and silently watching. And sometimes. Oh! Were attacking me. But I couldn't stop. I was fully realizing that I became obsessed with this case and that there might be serious consequences to that. He started but going crazy. I had this feeling that I was getting close to the truth. And no matter what, I had to continue. I didn't want Mark and Fiona to get worried about my condition. And oh know, my goodness. I tried to keep it as a secret from them. Though I think they already started noticing that there was something wrong with me, especially Fiona. Sometimes I had this feeling that this woman used to know me better than I do myself. Due to that, for some time, I decided to avoid seeing them in person. But despite all the difficulties and dangers that were faced, I think I finally managed to find the person who was responsible for the death of my brother Is that a kid and in all that? our horrible murders that were connected with Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. And tonight, I'm planning to find it for sure. What was her name again? Uh, Linda Jones. She's a journalist. Uh, remember, in the 80s she did an investigation about missing children. Her name was definitely in the files which we looked for. Okay, I will look inside. I'm good, thank you. Listen, the was there? I plan to go to the pizzeria again. I want to check something. I think I might have a new clue. Uh, listen, I'll tell you about it later on, in person. And then he about to go there by himself, man? But I'll manage on my own. Okay. Stay safe. This ain't good. This ain't good. Get the hell out of there, that's what happened. Why will someone dissemble them? Hello. Why will someone dissemble them? The hell was dead. Might have been living there. Oh, snap. What's going on? 
big ass wreck. I hope y'all enjoyed this first episode of Five Nights at Freddy, the animated movie. Man, how the dude get shot and they don't even show who shot him. Damn. It must have been somebody he knew because he was talking to him. Had to be somebody he knew. Man, that's crazy as hell. Them animatronics don't be playing, man. I swear. But I hope y'all enjoyed that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to come. I got it. Egypt. Until next time, my guys and goddesses, I'm out this thing. Peace. Man, I can't wait till the next episode.